Hello everyone, I'm Yu Han Wu, a first year PhD student from Peking University. Today I will present our work, SHE, a generic framework for data stream mining over sliding windows. In this paper, we focus on extremely high-speed data stream processing, for example, the packet stream in the network. To handle a high-speed data stream, we often process the stream in dedicated hardware platforms, including, including network switches, FPGA, and ASIC. As the latest stream data arrives, at any time, the user can query the stream data, and we should answer the query and output the results. There are two common stream processing models, the fixed window model and the sliding window model. First, we show how fixed window model works. The fixed window model divides the data stream into multiple windows of the same size, processes each window independently, and reports the results only at the end of each time window. There are many kinds of user queries. For example, the membership query asks whether one item appears in one specific window. The culinary query asks the number of distinct items in one window. Now, we show how the processing algorithm works by an example. As time goes on, item A, B, C, A, E arrive and are inserted into the processing algorithm. The algorithm reports the query results at the end of window 1. For membership, item A did appear in window 1, and there are four distinct items in window 1, and item A appears two times. After the report, algorithms and data structures in the processing platform are reset to zero. Then, the new items in the next window will be inserted. Then, we show how sliding window model works. The sliding window focuses on the most recent data item arrivals. The window size can be defined by either the number of items or the real time. In this example, the window size is five items. The processing algorithm always focuses on those items in the sliding window. The user can send queries of sliding window at any time. Compare with the fixed window model, sliding window can answer the query just in time, and the fixed window can only answer the query at the end of each fixed time window. In this paper, we aim at the sliding window model. There are two types of related work, exact solutions that can answer the query with no errors and approximate algorithms that have small and tolerable errors. The key idea of the exact solution is to store all items in the sliding window and build many indexes on them. When a new item comes and inserts, it deletes the oldest item in the sliding window. When the data volume and the data speed is relatively small, the Exact solutions can work well in CPU platform. However, in the extremely high-speed scenario, it is not practical for dedicated hardware platforms. In a network switch, there are billions of items to be inserted in one second, but the memory of switch is too small to store all items in the one window. Therefore, the high-speed stream processing in both fixed window and sliding window often chooses the approximate algorithms. Because the memory cost is small enough for hardware platforms and their errors are tolerable, 
approximate algorithm for fixed windows have a long history. Typical work includes the Bloom filter, bitmap, hyperlog log, and sketches. However, most of these approximate algorithms are not applicable for the sliding window model due to the problem of cleaning outdated items. In the fixed window model, we can reset all to zero at the end of the fixed window, but the sliding window only clears those outdated items that leave the sliding window. The basic version of these approximate algorithms do not support deleting items, and their variants for sliding windows focus on single task. The design goal of this paper is to devise a generic framework that transforms many existing fixed window algorithms to sliding windows on hardware platforms. Thereafter, we can perform various sliding window queries of high-speed stream on dedicated hardware. Besides, we try to keep the advantages of existing algorithms, including small memory, high-speed, high accuracy, and hardware support. The ne next two questions are, what fixed window approximate algorithm does the framework transform? We do not have to transform all algorithms, and also we cannot transform all of them. There, second, uh, how we trans devise the framework to achieve this design goal? To answer the first question, we first introduce one approximate algorithm called Bloom filter, and then we summarize the common characteristics of approximate algorithms. The Bloom filter is an algorithm for membership query. Membership query asks whether an item is a member of the past data stream. The Bloom filter has an array of many bits. They are all zero and initial. Every time a new item comes, it selects k bits by hashing and sets all these k bits to one. To query one item, it accesses the k bits by the same hash functions. It reports yes if all selected bits are 1, and reports no if there is at least 1 bit being 0. Consider one specific bit in the Bloom filter. The bit of 1 implies that some item has been inserted here, and the bit of 0 implies that no item has been inserted here. Here, we summarize a common model of fixed window approximate algorithm. It includes more than five algorithms for various query types. First, all these algorithms has an array of cells. A cell can be a bit or a counter. Second, when inserting items, these algorithms are based one or more cells. Third, when updating the cell, the new value can be decided by the update function. These algorithms can answer different kinds of queries. We can arbitrarily select some algorithm to deploy according to the query type that needs to be answered. For easy understanding, we still use Bloom filter as an example to introduce our framework. To achieve the design goal, we give four design requirements of the framework. First, the framework needs to clear the outdated information but cannot reset the whole data structure to zero. Second, it should keep small memory in order to meet the memory constraints of hardware platform. Third, it should keep high accuracy to provide high quality answers for the user. Finally, the operation of the framework should be hardware friendly so that the speed will be fast enough. To meet the design requirements, we use a cleaning process to clear outdated information with a minimal memory cost. 
The process scans the whole data structure with a constant speed from the first cell to the last cell periodically. When scanning a cell, the process resets it to zero. At the same time, new items arrive and are inserted into the data structure. Here, we show an example. Every time a new item arrives, the cleaning process will move to the next cell. First, the process cleaning the first cell when the first item is inserted. Then, the process clean the second cell and the second item is inserted. Here, we show all historical versions of the data structure in the figure. In the matrix, each column represents a version of the data structure at different times. We mark the movement track of the cleaning process with a yellow vertical line. If the line on the left of the cell is yellow, it means that the cell has just been cleared. We know that every cell has recorded the information since it was last cleared. We call the duration of each cell recording information as age. For example, suppose the data structure is a bloom filter with six cells and the sliding window size is three items. After the insertion of the eighth item, we find that the first cell of the bloom filter is zero. We can calculate that the last time cell 1 was cleared was before the insertion of item 7. Therefore, the age of the first cell is 2. Since the first cell is 0, it means that item 7 and 8 have never been selected or inserted in the first cell. Similarly, the third cell is 0. It means that items 3 to 8 have never inserted to the third cell. The fifth cell is 1 means that some items in 5 to 8 are inserted to the fifth cell. When the user query an item X, we calculate its hash values and select the first, third, and fifth cells. For the third cell, we know that no item in 3 to 8 inserted. Therefore, item X must never appear in the sliding window, which is item uh, 6 to 8. So what's the formal query method? When the user query item X, we find all its selected bits by hashing. Then check if any zero bits has an age no less than the window size. If so, we are sure that the item must never appear in the sliding window. Otherwise, we report yes, which may be a wrong answer with a small probability. Our insight is to use a cleaning process with constant moving speed. Then, based on speed and the different position of each cell, we can calculate the age of each cell. Finally, we update the query step strategy of traditional fixed window algorithm. For Bloom filter in the fixed window model, it reports yes if any select bit is zero. Now, in the sliding window model, only when one zero bit has an age no less than the window size, we report yes. However, the cleaning process is not easy to implement and may cause rise conflicts with the insert operation. Therefore, instead of using an additional process to perform cleaning operation, we devise a lazy cleaning strategy based on the one bit time mark. The detailed introduction can be found in our paper. Our framework SHE meets the four design requirements. First, it can clear unstated information by cleaning process. Second, it only requires small additional memory to record the one-bit time mark. Third, it can achieve high accuracy by new query strategies. Finally, 
its operations are simple to meet the hardware constraints. We implement our framework SHE in both CPU and FPGA platforms. In the experiments, we use three real stream datasets and two simulated datasets. Our framework SHE combines with five algorithms and answers their corresponding query tasks. We compare the accuracy of SHE with both the related work and the ideal goal in each query task. The related work includes both general sliding window algorithms and many variants of each approximate algorithm. The ideal goal of each query task is the accuracy achieved if we treat the sliding window task as a fixed window task. For example, we insert all items in the sliding window to an empty blown filter and calculate the membership accuracy as the ideal goal of the blown filter. Our experiments show that our framework achieves the best accuracy when the memory is small in every task. When the memory is large and sufficient, our framework is not the best one. We test the speed of the SHE combined with five algorithms on CPU platform. The ideal is also the original algorithm in the fixed window. The results in figure 10 and 11 shows that SHE only slows down a little speed in each algorithm. We implement SHE combined with Bloom filter and bitmap in FPGA. The results show that SHE can achieve high speed in the, hard in the hardware platform. In this paper, we propose SHE, a generic framework that can extend common fixed window algorithms to threading windows. It has small memory cost, high speed, high accuracy, and supports dedicated hardware platforms. We combine SHE with five well-known fixed window algorithms and implement it on both CPU and FPGA platforms. All our codes are released at GitHub.